In this tutorial, we are going to learn a user interface designing as well as some input control handling. So today's objectives are designing simple user interface and handle input controls. In Android, whenever we are creating an application, user interface is the most important part of this application. To design this user interface, we need to learn some basics, that is view hierarchy. In Android, view hierarchy is the most important while designing a user interface. There are two types of components available in this view hierarchy. One is view and another is view group. This view and view groups are arranged like root like a structure. View group is a kind of a container available in Android application programming where view is a kind of component. It means view group should be the root layout and view should be the node. It means we can add a view group inside a view group and view inside a view group. View group is a container so it can hold view group also and view also. But in this hierarchy you will not find that view is containing a view group because it is not possible in Android. View group can contain a view but view group but view cannot contain a view group. It is not possible. So hierarchy is very simple. Inside a view group, you can find a view group, view, view, and inside this view group, you can always find view, view, view. It means you can add a view group inside a view group. Again, you can add view group inside a view group. And theoretically, it is infinite, but practically it is limited. In Android, to design a user interface, we need to work with the XML language. Before starting with the XML language, we should take a more look on view and view hierarchy. In Android, operating system components are known as views and layouts are known as a view group. In Android, there are five types of layouts available, linear layout, relative layout, frame layout, table layout, and absolute layout. It gives you a five different combination for arranging the component in different manner. So layout is a container. It will help us to arrange the component in different, different way. So that's why it is called as layout also. Views are nothing but components and the components are like buttons. Text view, text view means label. Edit text means text field in Android. So some components we are going to look in this Android tutorial. As I said, we can add view inside a view group. It is possible, but vice versa is not possible. We can add view group inside a view group. It means we can add linear layout inside a relative layout or we can add table layout inside a relative layout or we can add frame layout inside, inside a relative layout. It is possible. For this tutorial, we are going to work with this linear layout. This linear layout arrange the components in a stack manner. So we can call linear layout as a stack layout also. We can arrange the component either in vertical fashion or in horizontal fashion. That means we can arrange the component either in a vertical way or in horizontal way. 